Hello, so we are back and this time we have a customer job. i3 agent, so it's safe to say this is a nice laptop Dell. Let's plug a charger and see what he's doing. I can't plug the charger because it's like half open. I will say let's open the, the back cover. Okay, so the back cover is open. <laughs> LOL, what is here? I never seen something like that. What is here? I mean, check there. Huh? This was like a big explosion here. Let's have a look under the microscope. Wow, just wow. LOL. And when I'm removing the capacitors, People are moaning, you know? Look here, look here. The capacitor exploded. You want explosive components on your laptop? I believe it's a capacitor and the board is burned. <laughs> Lol. Let's clean it quickly. Huh? So it's looking better. I mean, let's try to understand what's going on here, yeah? So I believe, that's what I believe. I believe this is the plus track, yeah? We can see two resistors, they are going to that MOSFET. Uh, so probably he's, here was capacitor. I believe this is ground. So this plus is still good. I mean, how is the board behind of this plus? Lol, this, this is looking worse compared with my barbecue. Okay, so the, the burn area, it's only here. But you know what? It's not carbonized. So I believe we have a chance to fix this. Check there what is behind of this layer of uh, of uh, of the isolator. Here is another layer. You can see. I believe probably it's a ground layer. So this is plus. Yeah, it's all burned here. Look here behind, gone. So what we should do? We should get involved in something like that. Let me check with the multimeter. So with the multimeter, the main power rail. Oh, sorry. So the main power rail is shorted. Okay, this one is not shorted, so we can reroute uh, this track from the MOSFET. Yeah, definitely, we can do it. And this track, lol, this track is good. So, I'll, you know what? Usually they put trucks, uh, power trucks, you know, on the top, then on the middle. But this one is not short, as you can see, no short. This one, it is is not short, lol. So we just, uh, we just fix the problem. So this one is not short. So what is shorted? What is shorted is this track, you see? This one, 2.5 ohms. So this one is still shorted. But this has a good chance to be fixed. 
Uh, here we have a truck which we don't know where it's going and that's bad. That's really bad. This one we don't need it, but it was not shorted, right? No, it's not shorted. This one it is shorted. So let's come with some alcohol. Let's come with the power supply. It's taking three amps, but I can't see anything. And here, zero point zero zero three zero four. Okay, so here is short. The capacitor. Or here behind. Let me raise the current. So let's raise the voltage and the current to five amps. Yeah, five amps. Let's see now. Here. For me, it's looking here, so check there. You can see it's uh, like uh, bubbling there. Look behind the chip. You can see behind the chip how it's bubbling. How can bubble the alcohol behind of the chip? I don't understand. So let's show you one more time. Look here, Ch check that, that bubble there, yeah? Look. And the chip is getting dry quickly. And the alcohol is moving around the capacitor. I'm not sure if you can see. So one more time. Is the chip or what? Look how the liquid is moving around the capacitor. <laughs> okay, that's confusing. You know what? Let's uh, let's get the, the thermal camera and try to see what's going on there. Okay, so we have this and coming with uh, current. Huh? So basically the layers behind this. Yeah, it's not the chip, it's not the capacitor, are the layers behind. That's bad. You know what, I thought we solved the problem, but it's not like that. So behind of this thingy, probably behind of this one, yeah, you'll check here. Yeah, everything is burned. Hmm. Okay, let's remove a few things. We don't need those. Let's lift the big capacitor. Good. So this is plus, I guess, yeah. Let's remove those. So we have this truck which is shorted.
But the board is looking good there. The board is looking good there. What is this? What truck is this? This is not ground. Yes, yeah, so probably this is plus. Huh? It's no ground, it's no plus. Okay, that's strange. This one. This one is ground. This track is ground. But from where this plus is coming? That's, that's my question. Yeah, we still have chance to fix this. But we have to remove the short first. So you see, everything is fine here. And here is still short. I don't understand. I remove... Wait. How here is sure because I removed the resistors. Because here is ground. So this probably it's a capacitor, right? Yeah, it's a capacitor. Plus minus. So here is minus. So what we remove those components are capacitors, yeah? So this is ground. And this is plus. So I really don't understand why this is shorted, apart from the fact this chip is dead. That's what, that's what I believe. I believe this chip is shorted. But I will check one more time with the thermal camera. So, let's see, plus here. It's not a chip, it's still something. It's not a chip. Uh, no, we have to remove the short. If we cannot remove the short, we cannot uh, we cannot fix it. So, if something weird is going on behind, and if it's behind, can be only under this layer. So, under this layer, uh, there can be a problem, but not here. So, here the problem is not on the top is behind of this. It's not? Okay, that's bad. Check there. Check on the back. You can see three trucks there. Yeah, th there is different, different stuff. And you cannot break that trucks. Hmm. Let's check now. Still shorted. Okay, let's call my alcohol. Is behind here. I told you it's behind there. Hmm. 
this ground pad is, is doing is doing problems here. Yeah, let's remove to everything. So this is plus. Good. And here behind of this capacitor, here this ground track. So here must be the problem. But it's looking good, that's the problem. Here is six, and here, yeah. But everything is fine on this side, so here is not a problem. My problem is here. <clears throat> okay, let's see what is there. Hmm? There are more tracks. Still short. Hmm? So this is that ground track, yeah? Good. Still short. Where? Here, here behind of this, really? I mean, what you will do, how you will approach a case like this? Still short. Here, do you think it's on the other side of the board? Huh? Can be, can be. Let's take the board out quickly and have a look. Don't tell me I cut that board, everything down, and actually the problem was on the other side of the board. Hmm? Doesn't look. 
Bro, that's freaking crazy. I can't believe it's a capacitor on the other side. That's sick. That's crazy. It's a capacitor. That's crazy. So I cut that board down, like, you know. And I have a freaking capacitor here. Shorted. Lol. I can't believe. And I can bet now it's not shorted anymore. Right? Do we still have a short? Let's see if we still have a short there. So the short was here, right? And it's not short anymore, lol. I can't believe. I mean, you are learning from my mistakes, right? Why I didn't check on that? You know what? You know what? You don't expect. You don't expect to have like, okay, I have a fault here and I have another fault on the other side of the board. How many laptops did you see in having two capacitors exploded? Because here on the top, everything started from a capacitor, you remember? Now, how many laptops did you see in to have two blow up capacitors? So we found another blow up capacitor on the other side of the board. Huh? Zero, because I never seen like a laptop with two exploded capacitors on two different places. Yeah, don't get me wrong, on two different places. Okay, so what do we have here? We have a lot of problems, right? Yeah, we don't need that. We don't need that. We need to solder the capacitor back. That's what we need. We need a solder iron. Perfect, so the capacitor is soldered on place. Let's get a solder iron. Let's use rosin. Rosin on a, on a case like this is fantastic. I mean, you can, uh, you can dip, you know, uh, the layers of the motherboard with rosin. You can... Uh, you know, fill them, you can fill them up with rosin and uh, rosin is a very good isolator. Yeah? Good, perfect. So here everything is looking like new. Yeah, no capacitor, so uh, we took all the bombs out. So nothing, it will explode again on this uh, on this laptop. So we have this plus, right? I don't know what was here. Yeah. Okay, let me grab a wire. Good. Perfect or not? We successfully sold a bridge. Yeah, perfect. Let's plug the charger and see if it's working. Let's see. Where is the charger? So it's taking like 10 milliamps, 20 milliamps, 400 milliamps. Four hundred milliamps. Pressing the power button. Yeah, we don't have RAM memory. We don't have RAM memory, and the laptop switch off. Let me plug a RAM memory.
Okay, now we have raw memory. It's taking 10 milliamps. Pressing the power button. Oh. Come on. Come back to life. Is shutting down because the BIOS is reset and it's coming back on with 500 milliamps. It's working. I can't believe we have picture. That's crazy. Oh, it's working. Lol. I didn't expect it. You know what? I was so like, like I seen that little truck. You remember from the beginning? Now, if I'm broken the, the ground pad, the plus pad, I don't care. I can bridge them. But when you see that small truck there, and I was like, okay, maybe it's not working. Or maybe it will not work. Lol, I can't believe it's working. We saved the day. We saved the laptop. Yeah, it's no hard drive. It's no hard drive. Uh, you see the lines on the picture, but the picture is perfect, it's perfect. It's because of the refresh rate difference. I can't believe it's working. <laughs> Dodgy? No, you can't use that word here. No, 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 you can't use it. You can't use it. No. 10 milliamps, pressing the power button, the current is coming up. Uh, I can see it's not charging, but that can be because of my charger. Yeah, yeah, because of my, uh, we have the error with the AC adapter, so it's because of my charger, or it's because of the battery. But the laptop is working. Hmm? Cool? I mean, it was quite bad, quite bad. Uh, no hard drive. Yeah, no hard drive. We have the message with no hard drive. Okay, so I'm going to stop now. I will say uh, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video and see you on the next one. Bye.